Welcome back. Well, a controversial advertisement has been circulating in the Beltway since the Nuclear Security Summit this week, and it's still on the airwaves. It's a warning message to the American people about Iran. Let's take a look. Imagine Washington under missile attack from nearby Baltimore. Since 2005, Israel has been targeted by 8,000 rocket and missile attacks from Hamas and Hezbollah. Iran has helped fund, train, and arm these terrorist groups. A nuclear Iran is a threat to peace, emboldens extremists. To discuss this a bit more, RT's Jihan Hafiz joins me now in studio to talk about how the ad is being received and also what it's trying to accomplish. Hi, Jihan. Yeah, definitely. Hi, Lauren. Well, you saw the video. It ran every 15 minutes on every hour on all of the major news networks during the nuclear summit. And, you know, the message was pretty direct. Iran is a trigger-happy terror sponsoring state and its wrath could be coming to a city near you. It had Washington, Baltimore in the mix. So it was really driving this message to the world leaders who were here, uh, but also policymakers, politicians, journalists, the media, um, really trying to get that message across um, on the airwaves. But this was strategically done. I spoke with the Israel Project today and they said, you know, they always bring out this, um, this, this particular advertisement whenever something big's happening in the city or around the country. So the last time they ran this ad was actually during the Republican and the Democratic National Convention in 2008, only they used two different cities. They used Denver and Boulder and vice versa in, for Minnesota. Um, and, and this is mainly to convince lawmakers that, or, you know, politicians that something needs to be done about Iran. You know, they need to take more direct uh, punitive measures in not only isolating Iran, but making sure that its nuclear program does not get to the point where there is a nuclear weapon. Um, this ad, however, is being labeled by some here in Washington as pro-Israel propaganda. And so I did speak with uh, Megan Buren of the Israel Project, and here's a little bit of what she had to say. The time to act is now. And is it a hard-hitting ad? It is. Is it truthful? Absolutely. And it's important for people to realize that we need to act now to deal with this peacefully before it's too late, because the only thing worse than military action against Iran, which we hope doesn't happen, is Iran with a nuclear weapon. So says the Israel Project, but Eugene Byrd of the Council for National Interest, a, uh, I wouldn't say it's a lobby group, but it's definitely a firm here in Washington, and analyzes um, the media in regards to the Israel-Palestine conflict, or even Iran-Israel in that matter. And here's what Eugene had to say about that message that the Israel Project was trying to put out this week. They uh, uh, show Washington being attacked. Uh, that, that's almost crazy. That's almost impossible to conceive of. Uh, our retaliation uh, is there and will always be there, but even more, uh, the Iranians don't have the missiles that could possibly reach Washington. Uh, they have them that could reach Israel, and of course, that's the concern of the Israel Project. Jihan, so uh, obviously different insights there and uh, some different issues, but I'm just really curious, you know, obviously the Israel Project is directing these ads to media and politicians and that sort of thing. Uh, is the message influencing people? Well, I have to say it's all definitely influencing the American people who are also watching these ads. As I mentioned, they were running every 15 minutes of the hour. During the summit, they're still on the airwaves, airwaves as we speak right now. Um, it's interesting to note that a national survey conducted by CNN found over 70 percent of the American people think Iran already has a nuclear bomb, which mm. just isn't the case right now. So these PR, for, these PR campaigns are working um, not only to the advantage of the, um, the Israel message, but also getting the American people on board for what, say, maybe pro-Israel politicians might think. You know, this is for the U.S. national security interest as well as it is for Israel's, but also putting on a global context. Um, so it is reaching the masses. It is influencing a lot of the elements here in Washington. Whether the White House is going to pay keen attention to this message and, um, you know, act on it is, is yet to be seen now. Where would you say PR stuff like this plays into the Israel-Iran? debate an issue in Washington? I'd say it plays in tremendously. I mean, there's really no other debate in the mainstream airwaves right now, aside from what is being pushed out there, which tends to be more pro-Israel. But it's not necessarily pro-Israel or non-pro-Israel. It's what are the facts on the ground. Iran does not have a nuclear bomb. 
making a nuclear bomb? Maybe. But the fact of the matter is, you're only seeing um, Israel's national security concerns in this debate. Um, another thing about the Israel project is a majority of the folks on their ad, uh, board of advisors are actually prominent you know, U.S. lawmakers. You can go from Ben Cardin to Evan Bayh uh, to everyone in, in the House of Representatives that is, uh, that tends to be, you know, serious advocates for the Israeli agenda. And so, I mean, there is lots of power on that side, and that's why we're seeing a lot more of that than really a more um, balanced, neutral debate on the Iran-Israel front. And really quickly, because uh, we're almost out of time, but just more broadly, how influential are these sorts of PR campaigns? Um, well, they're, they're very influential. I mean, we... Uh, as I mentioned, that survey, it really speaks volumes to how the American people are seeing Iran at the moment. Just before I was up here, I was asking folks on the street here in Washington, you know, what is the biggest national security threat to the United States? An overwhelming majority of those we asked said Iran. Iran is a nuclear bomb. Iran could bomb us. So that scenario that you saw play out in that advertisement of, you know, Washington, Baltimore, Iran reaching with Scud missiles or what have you, is very plausible in the minds of your average American. And that's really where it's being driven as far as these PR campaigns go. All right. Well, really interesting to break that down and see what's behind those commercials that I've certainly been seeing just at home watching television. Jihan Hafiz.